Hey guys, welcome back to Campbell Workshop. Today we are going to make a tree peony that I've seen on my book of botanic illustration. Since I've made a lot of flowers in pink, I'm going to change this color to the color of sunset. Before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button below so you won't miss any of our new tutorials. First of all, take out three pieces of 18 gauge wire and pull one of the wire out so it's about 1.5 centimeter longer than the other two then tape them together with some tape bend the extended wire into a loop wrap the wire starting below the loop with a strip of olive green crepe paper While we are waiting for the hot glue to heat up, take out a strip of 90 gram yellow crepe paper and trim it into small fringes. Give the fringes a little rub. Now our hot glue is ready. Add a drop of hot glue ball onto the loop. Keep moving the stem around to get a round ball shape. Once the hot glue has cooled down, re-wrap the ball with the olive green crepe paper. Add some yuho glue to the paper and mold into the shape of the hot glue ball. Add some yuho glue onto the yellow strip and wrap around the hot glue ball. Our flower center is done. Next, cutting petals. I will start with the big petals first. Clip the template on top of the folded crepe paper and cut the petals out accordingly. After that, you will realize there are some leftover paper that will fit the smaller templates. This can maximize the use of the crepe paper. You will need about 15 petals of each template. Now we are going to colour the petals with soft pastel. We will start with some red, yellow, light orange and a bit of dark red. Mix them together, colour both sides of the tips and the bottom of the petal so the colour is graduating. If you do not have pastel, don't worry, you can still make a beautiful peony. Shaping time. For the first two templates, get at the tips of the petals and expand a little in the middle. Lastly, bend at the bottom for attachment. For the other three, we need a mixture of petals that are bent inwards and outwards. 
Use a pair of tweezers to help you with shaping. With this mixture, the flower will be more lively. Shape all the petals. Now we can attach the petals with some hot glue. We start with a mixture of one and two petals in the first layer. Then we can introduce the third petals to the second and third layer. Add the big petals gradually. I would suggest to use the inverse petals for the fourth and fifth layers. Then we add the outwards petals afterwards. Remember to move the flower 360 degrees to make sure the petals have been added to every angle. This is my halfway flower. I need a few more big petals to make the flower head more full. When we are done, Add a big drop of hot glue to the bottom as finishing. My flower is done. Add some yuho glue to a strip of olive green crepe paper and wrap around the hot glue bottom.
after the flower, we need to make some greenery to go with it. If you need a full tutorial on making greenery, you can check the video on the top for full details. Once you have made quite a few green leaves, we can start to put them together. Grab a piece of big leaf and a small leaf to the 22 gauge wire. Then we wrap 2 to 3 small leaves into bundles. I have trimmed the paper at the bottom of the leaf slightly slimmer, so it's easier to be wrapped together. It's quite flexible on how you put it together. Now we are going to wrap everything together. Shape the leaves to make into more 3D. And we are done. Thank you for watching the video and I hope you like it. If you like it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. It will really help our channel to grow. Stay tuned for our weekly tutorials. And all our DIY kits, templates are available on our website. Check them out. See you guys next week.